Welcome to my lore through of Elden Ring. I have been carefully going through the map of the Lands Between, trying to find all the secrets and all the different storylines. And if this is something that you're interested in and you enjoy, follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash rodscaden. The link will be in the description. And if you do enjoy these kinds of videos, please subscribe. It helps a lot. And I will be making a lot more of these because I'm just getting started with the game. Having said all of that, Enjoy the video. We're gonna be exploring some of Limgrave, but before we go on, we're doing items. <laughs> Starting with the stone fragment found near places where ruins have fallen from the sky. These shards of stone are believed to have once been part of a temple in the sky. They glow with a faint light from within. When we first saw these, I made a comment about there probably being like a sky temple and a lot of the fallen things we see on the ground, a lot of the fallen stones and pieces of building probably from this sky temple from wherever it came from. A uh, grace that dwells within the inhabitants of the lands between lingering trace of gold. Uh, runes are nourished for the development of any, are nourishment for the development of any tarnish. Budding horn, a rarely seen specimen of a young budding horn. Found by hunting herbivorous beasts. Horn began to sprout on a beast that typically bears no horn. Perhaps it's a vestige of the primordial crucible. White flower that blooms in catacombs. A spirit nestles close to it. Strengthen renowned ashes to plus one. Ashes keep their renown after death. Cannot be strengthened by merely corporeal club work. Talisman depicting an ax and a warrior enhances charge attacks. The Lord who led the long march bore an ax and his loyal warriors honored him by wielding axes of their own making them very effective at dealing decisive blows. Hello? Is anybody there? Oh. Someone who might be interested in rescuing the great Kenneth Height, servant to the true order and celebrated repudiator of the pops. Oh, why are there ice? I wonder if this is Pot Friend. I would be very happy if this is... Oh, that doesn't seem to be Pot Friend. Sorry. Hello? Ah, you've come to lend me your aid, have you? Well, that's... that's very kind, but, um, no. No, but the help is very much appreciated. Even from a tarnished. Despite appearances, nobility is no prerequisite to serving the true order. You might have heard of me. Kenneth Height. I heard it for you Next in right line now. is the rightful ruler of Limgrave. Young Tarnished, I would have a boon of you. I want you to take back my fort. It lies to the south, beyond the Mistwood. A knight commander from Stormvale took it, a fool and plumb mad to boot, simply obsessed with blood. Oh, so that's what we uh, kind of got to and then ran away from. What are you waiting for? A kiss goodbye? That'd be nice. My fort lies to the south, beyond the Mistwood. Take it back for me. I somehow doubt that in a FromSoft game there will be a big celebration of any sort. Also, oh, I can't kiss you. <laughs> All right, what do we have here? Oh, this is kind of where the water meets. So I could go, turtle. I could go towards the that place where the bear is. What is this? Flask of wondrous physics. You can find crystal tears at the bases of minor herb trees. Oh, we did. Elsewhere throughout the lands between. At these at sites of grace, you can mix two crystal tears in the flask of wondrous physic. This will allow you to create elixirs of various custom effects. Are they replenishable? Flask of wondrous physic. A relic of the physic chemists, priests of the earth, harnesses the power of crystal tears, which only form after the passage of many moons. Very special effects are bestowed upon the drinker dependent on the specific mixture of crystal tears. Rest at sight of grace to replenish. There we go. Basins are placed at the feet of the of minor urn trees, which we saw last time, throughout the lands between in order to collect their crystallized tear. Blessing of the urn tree worshipped in the churches of all lands. This is but a faint vestige. Increases potency of sacred flasks, restorative effects. During the age of the Earth Tree, these tears were used to spread the faith, for theirs was once a certain blessing. Talk to Melina, or Melina. I mean, hello. Spoken echoes linger here. Oh, different Words places. Of Queen Marika, 
who vanished long ago. If you wish, I will share them with you. I am intrigued. Very well. In Marika's own words, my lord and thy warriors, I divest each of thee of thy grace. With thine eyes dimmed, ye will be driven from the lands between. Ye will wage war in a land afar, where ye will live and die. Well, perhaps that might serve you in lieu of a maiden's guidance. Is the music for you? Ah, uh, <laughs> crab meat. <laughs> I mean, imagine, imagine living in this world with this size of crabs. You'd be good for a long time. Those crab cakes would be massive. <laughs> I mean, I think you can still make them normal size. Oh, oh that looks cool. Oh, that is the, okay. Okay, that's the place I kind of wanted to go. So if I have Balakin's Blessing, it debuffs my HP and buffs my FP while I have it in inventory? Only when you use it, okay. But the debuff is already applied. I just wanted a hug from the nice lady, you know? Demi-humans wax wroth. Now their mother's been taken. Where are you, Lord Kenneth? The knight. Bedeviled by blood. Let's see what we have here. Someone gonna ambush me? It sounds like an ambush. Ballista! Let's practice some fighting. It's been a while. Oh, there's a big guy there! That's a big boy! How do we fight big guy? Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, I like that. He uses his helmet. Oh, it's a shield! Yeah, attack him. There we go. <laughs> Little guy survived. Big guy. Big guy with the onion head. I need to return to Bushman. Ever since I left the ways of Bushman, everyone has been getting the better of me. Fort height. Ooh, this is a big dude. Oh! What? Who are you? That's kind of a cool design, though. I kind of like that. kind of like that. Hey! Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> you love to see it. I Well, I love to see it. Yeah, I need to be ready for a big night. Woo! Woo! Uh-oh, uh-oh. No, no! <laughs> Not from a stupid mistake. Not from a stupid mistake. Bloody slash. Nice. It's like a dream. Boss. A boss? I haven't really encountered a boss yet in this game. I am very interested in fighting a boss. Necessary item ahead. There was no boss here. I was gypped. I wanted to fight. Uh, okay, we. What did we just get? Left half of split medallion depicting the Erd tree. Brandishing the medallion with both halves conjoins and activate the Grand Lift of Dectus, connecting the Atlas Plateau to Liurnia. The right half is set to reside in Fourth Barrow, in the Dragon Barrow far to the east. So this was the boss? That didn't really feel like a boss. This was just a dude. Praise the sun. I, I have so many questions about this. Is that a... It's a big werewolf, dude. That's pretty cool. Nomadic cookbook. Record crafting techniques left by roaming nomad warriors. Contains knowledge for surviving in the face of utter scarcity. 
uh, record crafting techniques left by an armorer who served the great general Radon contains knowledge of dealing with the rot application of fire in particular. Acquire and record of crafting techniques left by a man who's utterly captivated by Saint Trina. You continue to search for her in his slumber. Acquire the knowledge of crafting the sleep pot. Hmm. Ah, I've been waiting for you with bated breath. Did you manage to recapture my fort? Oh, excellent news. Just wonderful. And the knight's dead to boot. Well done, my friend. Well done indeed. I knew I was right to trust you. Now, here's your reward, as promised. Go ahead. It's all yours. Erdsteel Dagger. What is a noble such as you doing here? Right then. Time for me to head to the... I've much to do. First, I'll have to re-establish communication with the Demi-Humans. What's that? Well, under the Erd Tree, co-mingling with the Demi-Humans is made possible. Even the Volga shall not be left behind under the rule of true order. Which is why I, Kenneth Height, next in line as the rightful ruler of Limgrave, have sworn to uphold it. Just you watch, my friend. Just you watch. Okay, so we need to head to the other side of the river. Although I didn't explore this little patch of water. I know it's on the other end, but I didn't quite explore over here. Uh-oh. Where does this take me? Um... Excuse me? Why? Why? It took me to where the other half of the circle is. I, I, I'm not really searching for the other half of the circle yet. I just... Oh. If that's his face, it looks like he's going... Oh, oh I don't like this. It's called the Bestial Sanctum. Not trying to... I... Yeah, so let's see. We can maybe check to this part of Limgrave. True fact, what would you like a true fact about? Ice cream. Well, you know why people joke about, you know, the ice cream, ice cream? The, uh, in the early 1920s, there was this, oh. Oh. The reason why there is that is because a clown used to, <laughs> it's never good when it starts with, oh, look who's there. A clown used to um, sell ice cream in the 20s, and much like in the movie Monsters, Inc., he actually enjoyed making people scream rather than laugh. And for that reason, the song was made, you scream ice cream, we all scream for ice cream, because if the kids were screaming, this one is horrible, is a horrible true fact, uh, as in terrifying. Whenever kids would scream around his clown car, he would pelt ice cream at them. <laughs> He'd just be like, oh -ho! and throw ice cream at them. And that's where that whole saying came from. Also, this is a cool, cool ability here. Is he coming for me? Okay, Mr. Dragon. I can't believe that was too lucky. That was too lucky. I was supposed to have died. Oh, here we go. 
no! I think that's it. I think that's it. Dragon Heart? New Draconic Power available at the Cathedral of Dragon Communion? <laughs> dragon Heart seized from seized by a dragon tracker? Riddled with gravel stone, this grotesque organ continues to beat vivaciously. Those words. Ooh. An offering used in the Dragon Communion. Consume a dragon's heart at the altar to make your its powers yours. While a terrible and savage looking thing, the heart has a peculiar beauty to it. It is, I really like how it looks. I wouldn't deny it. 